So in another first, Ninja Kiwi has made, I believe, the fastest boss yet. They pretty much turned the slider up to max on the boss speed. So of course to compensate, well, the slowest boss is Red Balloon. And it's also unlocks. And we have more sort of cash. Obviously though, it's far from the hardest boss we've had. So of course to give myself a challenge, I'm going to play ranked mode, which is at least here for this week. Uh, as usual, I try to aim for a top 50, so I'm looking at it about at least under 140 or so would be nice. Oh, uh, so you might have seen here, I did play a little bit just to test the strategy that I want to try to pull off. And we're going to pick Gwendolyn. There's only three years you pick, by the way. Gwen, Quincy, or Striker. Gwen, I think, is superior. Also, thanks to starting cash, we can start with a farm, so I'm going to do that real quick. And yes, I, I believe it's always worth it to use the free tier in the Dark Monkey. Just to get that head start. I'm gonna do it over here, and uh, yeah, let's go. Also, if you just want a map comparison, a map that is five times uh, uh, shorter than Logs is approximately Dark Castle with the trees removed, so that's about the difficulty we're looking at this week. So overall, I would say tougher than average, but again, not the toughest we've seen. So if anyone remember, remembers that least tiers vortex I did a while back, the strategy for the start is gonna be pretty similar. Except with just a couple changes, I will do another farm. Something like up here for now. Alright, this is pretty crazy, but yeah, so 0, zero, zero Dark Monkey can solo 14 rounds. I am gonna drop another tower for round uh, 15, though. Yeah, 0, zero Dark Monkey with full lives, uh, right? Yes, thank you, Manchu, for keeping us just barely above water. So I'll get Gwendolyn mid round. Yeah, Gwen Dark should survive even longer because we have the Cocktail Bell out. And the reason why Gwen is the preferred choice out of the three is because of her buffing capability. I think it's going to be needed. And like her, the hero herself, can actually uh, deal damage to Dread Balloon. Reminder, Dread Balloon has a uh, lead immunity, at least for the uh, for part of the layer. Also, I guess the interesting thing about Elise Tears boss is uh, strongly aligned between how much farming do you need. You don't want to go too much to get too many tears, but you also don't, you don't want to be short in money at the end. So I think uh, after a bit of testing, this is the amount of farming that I think I need. I'm gonna go for a bank first. The play is gonna be a bank into a monkey all play. So we're gonna skip the balloon trap. Usually, I almost always do include balloon trap, but not today. Anyways, a bank round 22. By the time the bank fills up, I should be really close to getting monkey all play. That is the uh, the goal. So I'm also going to real quick get a zero 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 farm. This is going to be the sacrifice fodder to the all I have found a good monkey all spot that will sacrifice this farm, but will preserve these. But with range, we'll get boosted by these, if that, if that makes any sense. Do I click now at 8.8k? Yes. Perfect. This farm gets sacrificed, but when I buy range, these two will reach, right? I think so. There's plenty of uh, space. Again, I I mathed this out beforehand, so I didn't mess up. I'll, I'll get the monkey monkeyopolis ASAP, because I feel like if I wait longer without collecting the bank, I'll lose out a whole round of Monkeyopolis. And of course, again, as I said, a bigger radius so that these make more money. I should have bought it immediately, but that's okay. Oh, also, no, this doesn't reach. Is this significant enough to restart the whole run all over? In my opinion, yes. Yes. Because that's going to snowball into tens of thousands of dollars lost late game, which could be used as a cash lighter fodder. Any reason why I can't make a hug the track? Yes, for the Monkeyopolis. If I buy the Monkey City, with this being as low as possible, it will reach. So I'll end up sacrificing two farms instead of the one that I wanted. Let's try this again. So, sack. And come on, bigger radius. There we go, easily in range. Now we're good to continue. Now what, now what? I think I will go for plantation. Three, two, zero. This will be my, my banana central, of course. Another plantation up here. This one's going to be a four, zero, zero. I, I could go for a Wall Street. But I actually think I prefer just saving tears and going for this. I think this, B Central, and a Monkey Nomics is all I need. Anyways, now we can uh, start getting ready for Tier 1. I'm going to go for a mix of uh, towers, obviously, because there's multiple uh, things about Dry Balloon immunities that we have to deal with. First off, uh, Sticky Bomb. I can turn this into a Ninja Paragon later, so uh, I think that'll be worthwhile. $10,000 going into round 40. We need a primary for, well, the last three layers, and to deal rock balloons. I think, uh, Turbo Charge is good. 
And I'll turn this into a Boomerang Paragon later. I don't want Dark Monkey Paragon because the other tier 5 darts aren't that great for low tiers. And also, if I have space, mind if I squeeze an Ace as well. So yes, these are the three Paragons I want to get late game. So every tower I'm buying right now to defend is eventually going to be sacrificed into the Paragon. So I'll just start instantly with this and this since uh, we're currently on the primary immunity. So we have to pause our farming for now. No BRF is sad, but there's nothing you do when the Dread Balloon is this fast, so you kind of have to. You can't really wait wait around too long. Now, the thing is, if I do a Turbo Charge, I, might, I have to sadly waste two materials on lead popping. I don't think I can possibly rely on Gwen's heated up. As great as that is, I just can't. Also, look how fast Dread Balloon is, like, once the Rock layer is taken off. It is, it is speed. I should probably burst damage while it's really fast, because when it's really slow, I don't think we really care that much. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you see how slow it is? My god. And yeah, I think this is all my I need for my tier, my tier 1 defense. If anything, maybe Operation Dart Storm is something I could add for more, but I don't think so. Also, crap, I don't have my Turbo Charge up. Military is down. I kind of want to collect ASAP from my BRF, but I'll be patient. It's kind of funny, yeah, yeah, this is 5x speed. This only made me realize how slow the, uh, the Rock Shielded Layer of Dread Balloon actually is. Alright, come on. One more crate, please. Thank you. Got it. Should I just get ODS? I feel like I need it for it. Because, like, the boomerang is way too far away right now. Uh, I'll see. But for now, let me also try to greed. So, this is not going to be NG Paragon, but I need Overclock and Ultra Boost to make this make more money. And these towers stronger, of course. I should just go for ODS for peace of mind. Because my next build is probably Banana Central. I need to rush that ASAP. Oh, right, Jungle Jumps too. Is it worth spending 1500 Sure. Fine. I forgot about that. That is definitely worth a tier, if you ask me. And uh, by the time this Supreme Shield goes off, hopefully, we'll get our Turbo Charge ability again. Oh my god, I f completely forgot to collect from this bank the entire time. Well, that ain't good. Oh, I also wanted to go for this before uh, uh, the, the BRF. Oh god, how long was that sitting at full? Probably like four rounds. Alright guys, unfortunately, I don't think I... I, I survived this run, right? That's way too close to the exit. On the bright side, we do have all three towers attacking. Support is the easiest. Easiest layer to deal with. I don't want to spend an into your five because I need the B Central ASAP. If I do this, my... My Iku gets ruined. Uh-oh. Alright. Oh, I don't have my turbo charge up. This sucks. It's like three seconds away. Ugh. Please. We only need 2,000 damage, so a couple stickies. Come on. 900? No way. Alright, so I just have to buy Jungle Drums immediately. I think that's the only change I need to make. If I was 800 damage off. If there's any silver lining to retrying again, it's always that the second attempt is much, much optimized. So this time I won't even forget to collect and also um, get IMF early. Support layer over here this time. Yep, plenty of time. I think I, think I can stop worrying. Waiting for it to go speed. Now, burst it down, burst it down. With this much extra uh, track length, I don't think I'm worried at all. Except maybe the Rock Wounds. Come on, clean up. Nice. Here's Tier 1 done. So, if anything tracks, I should afford this before Tier 2 comes in, like, by a landslide. I'll get this. And I'll get this, and, uh, yeah, everyone will be happy. Also, what is going on with my ODS? Excuse me? Uh, it has something to do with Dreadbloom dying, I think. And it not being hit by, uh, Rock Wounds? That was weird. I don't think I've ever seen that before. So let me wait for this round to end. Come on. Uh, and I'll proceed to collect. Do this. And get this. Easy. And what can I afford before tier 2-2 two, two comes in? Do you think I can rush an ultra boost? That sounds like the greediest play ever, but... I feel like it might be possible. Would I also do this before... Uh, oh, so crap. Forgot to deposit. But would I also do a BRF? I'm feeling greedy today, folks. Okay, Ultra Boost might be too greedy, so we'll at least just do this. Again, no cross path to save two tiers. I think I, I think I have enough money. Um, you know what? I'm actually really close. I could buy it right at the start and hopefully bank enough money that I can uh, quickly get tier 2 defense. I'll try. Again, checkpoints exist for a reason. Also, my tier 2 defense is literally upgrade all, all three existing towers. It's that simple. So collect this and see. Boom, Ultra Boost. That was easy. But yeah, these three, these three Paragons are nice because they have good boss damagers incorporated into, into the tier 5. So it's a very uh, 
simple build up. I just hope that delay in, uh, well, getting these G5s doesn't hurt me. Because I would love to get away with this greed if possible. So first things first, I'm, I'm going to try to rush a Master Bomb era for the 3k damage per sticky. Like, see how quickly we're making money? It only took till 62, even though I bought this, like, on round 60. And then after Perma Charge, after it's out of the primary layer. Alright, here comes Speed. No Sky Shredder is kind of sus, but again, I trust in the Master Bomber. Even though it is going to progress a fair amount. Uh, do I also IMF loan for this? I'm 2k short. Yeah, you know what? I'll just get it immediately. Why not? It's not like you're losing money using IMF loan. Also, I'll sell the free Darby at this point. Sorry. We're gonna need every pop we can on the Paragons, so... Yes, that was a necessary evil. And here comes Speed again with Dread Balloon. Let's see if I can get off another... Oh, that doesn't reach, does it? Only barely. That's alright. Again, Sticky Bomber's master uh, full map range he is awesome. So we hit the halfway mark halfway through the track. I think we're actually fine. Despite getting Ultra Boost that quickly. Greed pays off, doesn't it? Shredder? Oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, there we go. I was wondering why it was taking so long. And that should be all I need for uh, this. So now we just need to save about $70,000 for our final farm. Which is kind of crazy that on Elite, I'm stopping farming like 50 rounds before the event ends. But trust me, that is a strategy. That exists. One of the strategies of all time. It'll be a we'll probably we'll probably about the same time as last time. AK, plenty of time left. Uh quickly. I am a flown. Nomix, easy. And we capped out on 67. Okay, so there's just one problem now. Uh they did change Ultra Boost so that it's more efficient. You uh the Ultra Boost lasts longer in tier fives, which is great, but it doesn't last uh enough so that without Energizer, you can like Ultra Boost two things at once, but I think it is worth it just to make more money on this form here. So I'm gonna, I'm trying to try to juggle back and forth the abilities here. Again, money's actually really important in this challenge because the more money you have, the more the cash lighter, aka the easier you can pop things. So you see here, the Ultra Boost stack or the Overclock buff is gone. Briefly. The thing is, we're going to have to divert some of the Ultra Boost stacks though, because we want to also buff our uh, big plane. Because that's the only way I'm beating tier 5, so I'm going to need to, like, get as many pops on as possible. Hence, well, on the Ultra Boost. But for now, I, I do hope this is uh, worth losing a bit of uptime. There's also no way to stall the rounds with all these towers on the screen, so sadly, can't really squeeze out more money from my Nomics. All I can really do is, again, just collect ASAP and do the depositing trick to squeeze out a bit of money. AK deposit once, wait till it's full, rinse and repeat. So, hello, Tier 3. Let's do one more deposit. There's so much money. Which means, yes, my my goal to be Tier 3 is to get a Paragon by the end. Probably just one of them, aka the Boomerang. Uh, but for now, let's just drop all the Tier 5 so that we get, like, as many pops as possible. So, starting off with the uh, Big Plane. 2 zero, 5 for uh, extra pops. It's worth the two tiers. I'm also going to do uh, Ninja. Grandmaster with Gwen buff will allow it to hit Light Balloon. So... Uh, might as well get that. The whole gang at this point, everybody. So this, this, and this. I'm only missing Star Bomber now, so I think this actually might be right at or over 100 tiers. Well, if that's the case, isn't that perfect? Let's just play. So I don't want the Boom Prank on uh, 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 immediately, obviously. First, I want to put something in the Cash Lighter. Secondly, it doesn't even damage in the first place, so there's no point. Just uh, let its life now. I hope Gwendolyn reaches uh, the heated up off from there. Anyway, I'm just going to keep using this time to overclock the farms. I, I don't know when I want to start 10x ultra boosting this thing. Do I do it after 10 stacking this thing? AKA two stacks away? I'd say so. Alright, we also got level 17, so if we use this, extra damage ensues. Maybe I should just... I think I'll use my next ultra boost stack on the big plane. Just to do a little bit of damage in the short term, because this is getting a little far from my liking. Although, does it really matter? Because once I get the boom paragon... I will beat the rest, like, easily. So, you know what? No, I don't care. Paragon's destroyed 2 or 3 so easily so that I shouldn't even be worried how far this first one gets. Now, I think, at minimum, I just need a degree 20 boomerang. If I get that, I'm satisfied. So, uh, how much cash lighter? We're gonna have to just do some trial and error to get exactly 20. Uh, I'm gonna just first start with uh, 84,000. That gets me degree uh, 14. Nope. 150k. And I think we went overboard, didn't we? 
that's fine, that's fine. I don't think it'll come down to, like, a dollar. But if it does, then... Yeah, clip this moment. We didn't put it at the max cash lighter, obviously, because I need the money later for, you know, cash lighter on the ace and the ninja. Uh, but this is fast. We don't have to worry at all. Alternate them stacks, and hopefully by the time uh, tier 4 comes around, maybe I won't have all 10 stacks, but I'll have, like, a decent amount to work with. And we should be chilling. Well, we're gonna have no problem affording the ninja paragon, at least right now. Just have to know... How much I need to save to get the Ace Paragon. So I don't want to use too much cash line of the ninja. Anyways, I don't need to start with the ninja immediately, by the way. For now, I think we can try to hope that the... Just the pops of these guys alone can get through the primary layer. And that means I actually wouldn't even need the uh, the ninja. That would be nice. Uh, so far, our damage is very, very bad. I might have to probably buy Ninja Paragon like somewhere in the primary layer. Maybe once the skull uh, goes away... When I mean Skull, I mean the, the shield layer, because, like, this this is fine. I don't mind if it takes forever to beat this this uh, ceramic layer, because Dreadling's pretty slow, even at max speed. But once you take it off, I don't think we're going to beat it without getting a Paragon. Like, if it got this far and we're not even halfway through the, um, the Rock Shield, then just do the math. I also can't wait too long this time, because uh, uh, because it's tier 4. I don't know if this can solo, or how well it can solo the magic, the magic layer, with it only being degree 20. Okay, we're probably waiting too long. Do I just blast off now? Uh, yes. So, degree 40, right? Degree 40. Let's start with a modest $200,000. That gets us... Wait, that's awful. Wait, maybe I don't... Maybe I can't go for a degree 40, because degree... That would take so much more money. That I don't think we have, because look, we only have 400k. And I need... So, like, money for the ace. And I'd rather the money goes in the ace than the ninja. It's funny that they're both degree 21, unintentionally. Uh, we're gonna breeze that military layer real quickly, but here comes the magic. We need some help here. Alright, here comes speed. Since, like, we saw how quickly it broke through the military layer, we don't really need much track length, so I think this is- this space is fine. Right? Yeah, furthest it popped to the magic, but I think we're good. One more tier to go. And do I- it do I need- no, no, I don't have to bother going for more stacks on this thing. This is mostly to do more damage to the boss. Once the boss dies, uh, the only pops you can get is on the balloons, so... I think I'll just go back to straight ultra boosting the farm make a little bit more money. Let me just drop my last tower now, Mr. Sarbama, and yup, we're gonna end up with 100 tiers. I guess now the only thing we can do is uh, save our time in case someone ties us at 100. Then I like to edge them on the, on the penalty game, but my 10 minute penalty is kind of rough right now. So maybe not. Great news, though. We have a good amount of cash lighter to throw in, along with 8 million pops on the aces. That's kind of crazy. I barely buffed, like, these guys. Only Ultra Boost and Jungle Drums. And it's still got that many pops. So how much money? Sell, 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 sell. Everything, right? Everything. Even Gwen? Yeah, see ya. Just the Paragons remain. We'll have a nice 300k. And, uh, what degree is it? Hopefully it's good. 53. Again, I said minimum 40, so I'll take it. And let's do it. Play the round. And I, I genuinely think these three Paragons should be enough to, uh, well, win. I just have to time my uh, Carpet Bombs properly. That, again, includes, like, timing it so that I, I should only really use it when it's speedy. Like, right now, I should save it. Even though I could use it immediately, I, I should wait for this Rock layer to go away for maximum damage, right? Yes. That is 100% what you should do, so wait. Now. Premature. Come on. And that took out half of the speedy layer, just like that. Unfortunately, I can't do that for the military, so we just kind of have to hope that Ninja and Boomer take care of it. Like, degree 20 is at that, so good luck. Why oh, sell Gwen? Yeah, to be fair, I don't think that 650 would have gotten us an extra degree. But if it did, then it was worth it. And now, speed again. I should prepare my car bomb so that um, we are going to damage it immediately once it's uh, able to be damaged. I don't mind using it for the SRAM shield at this point. Just since it's fresh off the oven. Come on, hurry up, hurry up. Now? I think I... I probably misplaced it, didn't I? Yeah, I think a couple of them missed, but that's fine. Uh, wait. So, that's where I'm gonna lay my car bomb. 
Yes, now. And uh, oh, I think I think I I think I missed a couple bombs there, depending on how big the hitbox is. But it's fine. We're fine, guys. We're fine. Final immunity. This should be the fastest by far. And again, I'll save my curve bomb. I don't think I really need it when Boomer and Ninja are all doing work. All right, get ready. And here it comes. Drive Balloon getting to the last lane. But that was perfectly planned. And this Carbomb should basically wipe out all its HP. Nice. Plenty of time to spare for uh, this tier here. And that's all you need to beat Elite Dread Balloon for this week. A 5x speed one at that. And as you see overall, just that BRF. Or Central and uh, Nomics made us 2.4 million. Easy. So what does this flat 100... And wait a minute. 0.1 seconds under 40 minute penalty. Get us. Well, just outside top 10. I think I'll take it for a uh, casual run. Anyways, I hope to see more fun weeks like this one because, yeah, just simple modifications can really change up a lot.